When I first met Martin, I didn't know very much at, or anything really about diabetes. And at first I didn't even know you were diabetic. <laughs> um, and But I've learned a lot more in the time we've been together through Martin. Martin's taught me a lot um, about the disease in general and about how he deals with the disease specifically. Yeah, when, when we met, we, we met in normal real life. We didn't meet at a... Uh, a diabetes hookup event. <laughs> uh, we, you know, we met anywhere that anybody else would meet, and and diabetes was really not part of the conversation. You know, when it, it was really my my charm and my humor that that landed me Amanda. I get frustrated in general because there's such a lack of knowledge about diabetes. So people are constantly asking me, "Oh, you let Martin eat that, or is Martin allowed to eat that?" Um, and then within our relationship, I know now the signs when Martin's high or low, but I have a lot of frustration because when you love someone and you're in a relationship, you want to share the burden and there's just a huge part of having diabetes that I can't share with him. So when he's up late at night with a high or things, I can only sympathize. I can't do anything to change that. And life with diabetes can be unpredictable. So, you know, sometimes it, it does interrupt our, our normal routine, um, whatever the case may be, whether it's I'm notorious for having a low blood sugar while I'm in the middle of the grocery store. And of course, my, my rule is that I, I don't like to break into the cookies right mm -hmm. in the middle of the grocery store. Meanwhile, Amanda's going, why won't you eat it? We'll just pay for it. <laughs> so it, it, it's a challenge. It can be unpredictable, but it's completely manageable so that it doesn't define who I am and it certainly doesn't define our relationship. I've learned a lot about Martin, about when he's high, when he's low, what's, you know, what what's a good range, what's a bad range, what an A1C is, all these things I never thought I would need or want to know. Um, but you know, it's funny because you have to put on a diabetes lens sometimes to regular things that happen in your relationship. And a lot of times when I feel like Martin's being fussy or, or mad, I'll say, are you just fussy fussy or is this a diabetes fussy? Is this something, a fresher, is this something that's um, diabetes related or are you just in a bad mood today? So you've got to check those every once in a while. <laughs> So it's a lot like poker, um, where if you, if you play poker, the, the people that you're playing poker with have a certain tell mm -hmm. that gives away what cards they are holding. And with diabetes, it's, it's very much the same. You know, I have certain tells that indicate what's going on with me. So, you know, maybe Amanda will be looking at me to make a decision, and I simply can't. And it's because my blood sugar is going low, and, you know, I haven't quite caught on to the fact but Amanda's realizing that I, you know, speaking to the grocery store, I can't quite figure out, do we want broccoli or apples? Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I'm not able to distinguish, you know, and make those decisions. And, and then you check, and it turns out, you know, I'm 42, and it's, it's time to treat that low and get me back to normal. I don't, I don't live in fear because I trust so much of how Martin, who's had the disease for so long, um, takes care of himself and that he's aware of all the complications or things he needs to be doing. I would have a lot more fear if Martin didn't, wasn't so invested in his own health and in his own diabetes management. Um, but there are times when things are scary. Uh, he goes on a lot of long distance bike rides and I get scared sometimes that he's gonna be by himself and, and need me and I won't be there. And for me, Fear is not an option. It, it's I, I cannot live in perpetual fear of what ifs in regards to diabetes. So I, you know, we as people with diabetes, we do the absolute best we can with what we have to work with, and um, and make sure that diabetes is and perhaps always will be a part of our lives, but it does not have to define us.